Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss liquid question 1035 that says unclosed lines. Although this question looks hard at a first time, but I am sure that after watching this video you will find this question is super simple. Yes guys, this question is not that hard, it is a very much a uh, type of fundamental question that is uh, already there or you might have already solved in the past, right? So this question is very much similar to one of the most famous question uh, from the lead code and we will uh, derive the approach and link the question right so yeah guys watch till the end and make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel so guys here you are given two integer array nums1 and nums2 and we need to write this integer array in order they are given into two horizontal lines two separate horizontal lines for an example if you have 1 4 3 nums1 and 124 in nums2 so like uh, write this way 1 4 2 in the first horizontal line and 1 2 4 in the next horizontal line now what we need to do is we can draw a connecting line a connecting straight line that connect two numbers that is nums of i and nums of j only when nums of i equals to nums of j that means the value are same and we cannot draw any intersecting line or any other connect uh, connecting any other line okay also note that the connecting line cannot intersect even at the at points that means a number must belong to one connecting line only okay right so yeah, uh, we need to return the maximum number of such connecting lines we can draw. See guys, connecting line is nothing but a line that connects two numbers that are same. Also, that line doesn't intersect with any other lines. So that is nothing but a connecting line. And we need to return the maximum number of such connecting lines we can draw. Okay. So if you take a look at the first example, so either, uh, so here you are given 1, 4, 2 and 1, 2, 4. So you can connect 1, 1 and 4, 2. See guys, you cannot connect 2, 4 because it will intersect. So that is not possible to connect 2, 4. You cannot connect this. Else guys, what you can do is, you can connect this way also. You can connect 1, 1 and 2, 2. So in both the cases, you will get uh, 2 as the answer because there will be only 2 connecting lines. Right? Now if you take a look at the second example, here you are given 2, 5, 1, 2, 5 and 10, 5, 2, 1 5 2 okay so let's suppose you connect this to 5 you connect 1 and 1 and you connect this to 5 now none of the lines intersect so this is a correct combination of connecting lines and at the end we have three lines as our output right and similarly here you will get two maximum connecting lines so guys this connecting lines concept is very much simple that we only connect if both the numbers are equal and no other lines intersect right the condition one that is very much easy to implement we just have to compare the ith index from the nums1 and the jth index from the nums2 if they both are equal then yeah we can draw a connecting line but we have to make sure that it doesn't intersect with any another connecting line so how we will make sure of this so to make sure of this we will always move our pointers that is the ith pointer and j pointer in one direction only we won't reverse it for an example let's say uh, initially both i and j pointer are at index 0 we check whether the i and j numbers are equal yeah then we draw a line then we move i pointer to 1 j pointer to also 1 we check are they equal no now let's suppose we only increment ith pointer to 2 and uh, we check if i and j values are same yeah draw a connecting line then we uh, increment i pointer to 3 and j pointer to index 2 we check are they same draw a connecting line now we again increment i pointer to 4 and j pointer to 3. Are they same? No. Then increment uh, j pointer to index 4. Are they same? And draw a connecting line. So this is one way of to, to do this. What if you might have done something like this? So this is uh, this second approach is also a valid approach. Although you won't get bet, best possible answer, but this is also valid approach. So here in this approach, what you will do? You will check i and j both are same. Draw a connecting line. Now i pointer comes here, j pointer comes here. Are they same? No. So at that point here, what we decided? We decided to increment i pointer. But let's say you decided to increment j pointer. So here 4 and 3 are same? No. Then again increment the j pointer to 4. Are they same? Yeah. Draw a line. Again increment to here. And i to here. They are same? No. Then increment i to here. Are they same? No. Then again increment to here. Are they same? Yeah. So this is a slight mistake, this with index 1, 2, 3 and 4. But I hope you guys understood that 
we only moved our i and j pointer to one direction or we always incremented it see what if we do decrement so let's say i and j are here this is initially at 0th index we draw a line then let's say i becomes 2 here j comes to here are they equal no then move j towards the right and i to here now check 4 and 3 are the same no move 1 this is index 2 this is index 3 move j to index 3 check they both are same yeah draw this connecting line okay now guys afterwards let's say we move our i to here j to index 4 they are same no not same then again i index uh, ith index comes becomes 3 now you will find that there was n uh, 3 in the past but at that point we won't decrement j we cannot decrement the j pointer if we would do that then this will always always be a conflict there will be always be a conflict right and we don't want that we don't want intersecting lines so guys one idea you can get from here is if you move the ith and j pointer in one direction only that is i always increment and never decrement right either the same or increment but never decrement you can al always uh, create may or make i greater than greater than equal to i plus one either increment or make uh, keep it the same but never decrement so yeah if you do this then we don't have to check for this intersecting condition as we only move in one direction either uh, that is always increment or stay wherever we are we don't move reverse right so yeah in that case there is no need to check for intersecting lines right we don't have to check so here if we uh, keep track of uh, i and j uh, by only incrementing the pointer that means we keep track of order of elements the order of elements is maintained right see if you traverse in one direction only then the order would be like something if you see here it would be like one for nums one as we are as we did here it would be one two three right it was one two three five and for nums two it was one two three five but if you don't uh, if you decrement let's say you decrement then the order becomes what is uh, its order changes right one four uh, let's say three is your answer and here answer is one this and this so here from here to here and then the here so this the order is not maintained in the nums two error right so whenever you decrement the pointer the order is not maintained but that is wrong so we will always maintain the uh, sequence of our i and j pointer we will always move them in one direction so that means the sequence or the order of elements in the nums one as well as nums two will always be maintained correct the sequence of element or the order of elements will always be maintained now that is nothing but what that is nothing but a subsequence subsequence is nothing but a sequence in array uh, by removing some numbers a subsequence is nothing but a sequence of an array sequence of elements of an array by removing some of the intermediate numbers right so sequence is maintained like a 1 2 3 and 5 we can remove some of the intermediate numbers but we cannot change the order you cannot write 1 3 2 and 5 the sequence has to be same 1 2 3 and 5 right so yeah whenever you maintain the sequence by ignoring some of the numbers that is nothing but called subsequence right and here what we have to do we have to match the numbers as well as we have to maintain the subsequence right we have to maintain the order as well as the numbers that are same so that is nothing but what that is nothing but longest common subsequence right in lcs given two strings s1 let's say s1 is a c c d and s2 is let's say a c e d so here what we do we match the characters right we match the characters and we also maintain the sequence that is a, that is nothing but longest common subsequence right we find the longest length of subsequence that can be matched from string 1 and string 2 and here also we have to match that we need to find longest subsequence only that will be matched so uh, the longest is the subsequence that many connecting lines we can get right the, we need to find maximum connecting lines right we need to find maximum number of connecting lines we will only get that if we find the longest com common subsequence between nums1 and nums2 right let's say if the longest common subsequence between n1 and n2 that is nums1 and nums2 is 5 then we can uh, we can uh, draw 5 connecting lines it is simple right so uh, if you try to find lcs of this array and this array you will uh, get character uh, or numbers 1 2 3 and 5 this is the lcs right of the nums1 and nums2 so its size is 4 and that's why four connecting lines we can draw so overall you can say that if you find the lcs or the longest common subsequence of the nums1 and nums2 where the length or the answer of the lcs is nothing but 
the number of lines or connecting lines you can draw right so this question is now nothing but to finding the lcs between nums 1 and nums 2 now guys if you have idea of how to calculate lcs or how lcs works then i recommend you to try out the question from yourself right afterwards the question is very much simple from this point right we uh, instead of drawing the lines we have boiled down this question to nothing but finding the lcs between nums 1 and nums 2 clear till here now how we find the lcs lcs is nothing but a dynamic programming uh, question where we have choices so what type of choices we have so let me take the same example right 1 4 2 3 5 uh, and above 1 4 2 3 5 and 1 2 3 4 5 okay now suppose our ith index is here and jth index is here they both are pointing to 0th index and the number matches so if the number matches of both the index we connect the line and increment i pointer to the next and j pointer to also to the next okay now we check if the number matches no the number doesn't matches so from here we have two choices either we can increment the i this is choice one or we can increment the j this is choice two right either we can increment the i or we can increment the j and see we have already covered these two choices if you increment the i pointer to the next now from one to two then you will get four different connecting lines right if you go uh, proceed with this approach but if you proceed by this approach of incrementing the j pointer you will only get three so that's why uh, we have to take care of both the choices and figure out which will give the best possible answer right which will give the best possible answer so this uh, this for this we can write a recursive code where we will take care that if nums of uh, nums 1 of i equals to nums 2 of j if this is the condition if both are same then nothing but return 1 plus solve nums 1 nums 2 i plus 1 and j plus 1 that means increment both the pointers and in the else condition what we will do we will return maximum of solve nums 1 nums 2 i plus 1 and j j remains as it is and comma solve nums 1 nums 2 i remains as it is and increment the j pointer see these are the only two choices we have if the number doesn't match either increment the i pointer or increment the j pointer because we cannot decrement we can increment one of them right but we cannot decrement if we will decrement then their lines will intersect at some point right and that we don't want so the only choice that we have remaining is to increment and whenever the number doesn't match then at that moment we can either increment the i pointer or we can increment the j pointer right the same thing we do in the lcs the longest common subsequence between two strings the same choices that we have and the same code we write over them. so guys i hope this the approach and the intuition part is very much clear now now moving on to the coding part so the coding part is also uh, very much simple now we took the memoization 2 ddp add and call the solve function so initially i and j pointer both are zero then we check you know, for this base condition that is if i is greater than nums one dot size or j is greater than nums two dot size then return zero that is out of bound then we check if the sub problem is already computed or not if for the sub problem we have already checked then return the answer directly now we will check for this condition that if nums one of i equals to nums two of j that means both the characters or the numbers matches then in this situation simply add one because we can draw one line right if the number matches we can draw one line and uh, call for i plus 1 and j plus 1 right call for next two indices and in the else condition take the maximum of either incrementing the j pointer or incrementing the i pointer we have two choices we can either increment the j pointer or the i pointer we can never decrement this right so yeah take the maximum of both of them and at the end return the current answer right so yeah guys this way we can solve this question not talking about the complexities the time complexities here is nothing but we go of n into m and similar is the space complexity and here n is nothing but the size of norms 1 and m, m is the size of norms 2 right? so this many times this uh, solve function will be called because here we are using this memoization 2ddp and this has this 2ddp has this many number of cells okay and space complexity would also uh, we have to also take for this sort recursive function so we have to take recursive stack um, we have to consider the recursive stack for our space complexity 
So yeah guys that's all for this video. I hope you guys understood the intuition as well as the approach part. Right? If you guys have still any doubts then do let me know in the comment section. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.